The run for the roses just got a little thorny. Medina Spirit, the horse who won last week's Kentucky Derby, just failed a drug test, testing positive for a higher than allowed amount of an anti-inflammatory steroid. And now the horse's legendary trainer, Bob Baffert, has been suspended by Churchill Downs because of it. This is the, it's the biggest gut punch in, in my life uh, to lose a, uh, the, to have a positive in the Kentucky Derby. It's the most prestigious race. And um, I have a lot of respect for the race. And it's just an injustice for the horse. I mean, there's something, something went wrong there. I don't, I don't, we're, we're, but we're going to get to the bottom of it. You think Mike Tirigo from NBC Sports is the only person we needed to see today? Michael, a couple things. This is not Bob Baffert's mm-hmm. first Kentucky Derby win. It's like Correct. his seventh. But as far as failing Correct. a drug test, I want to say it's his fourth or fifth this year. Why did this horse have any of this drug in his system at all? Yeah, that's the question. And Steph, no race is watched in terms of drug tests for the horses after the race as closely as the Kentucky Derby is. And with some suspicion around Baffert, he had just fought in his own defense an Arkansas suspension that was overturned from a suspension went down to a fine. He knew that people would be watching very closely. That's why he has been so steadfast in his denial that he had anything to do with this or that the horse was ever injected or treated with this up before the race. So this is a tough one. Uh, the, the court of public opinion is going to be against Baffert because of the lengthy history. And we're going to have to wait till the second sample comes back to have a little clearer definition of where this is going to go. We have no idea at this point. All right. I'm not thinking about Bob Baffert. I'm thinking about Steve Kornacki mm. and the two grand <laughs> he won <laughs> betting on this horse. What does it mean yeah. for people who bet? Well, if they overturn the result and this horse could be disqualified, then this horse to finish second, Mandaloon, would be the winner of the Kentucky Derby and would get that money. However, the betters, they don't change. So Kornacki keeps his money. All the betters who had Medina Spirit keep their money. And everybody else who had the horse that was second and beyond, they don't get their money. And that's one of the concerns with this industry because it is paramutual wagering and you do have the betters propping up the industry. So Kornacki may be cashing some money that maybe in the end, history will show he didn't earn. Do you think Medina Spirit should be allowed to race in the Preakness? That's this weekend. That's part of the problem here, Steph. There is no national body. of like, This is the NFL. Roger Goodell, the commissioner, or Adam Silver in the NBA could have oversight over everything, right? In horse racing, we don't have a national body yet. There's some legislation supposed to start next year. Uh, it doesn't feel like the horse should be able to run if there's a question. However, what happens if they find out there was a mistake in the lab work? And then you denied the horse the chance to run in the Triple Crown, the second leg of it. So this is a tough one. It will be interesting to see what the folks in Maryland who run the Preakness decide to do regarding letting the horse in or not. But, Michael, hold on. A mistake in the Mm -hmm. lab work? Wouldn't they double check it before officially releasing it if there was a chance there could be a mistake? Just like with a lot of drug tests, there's a split sample, right? So you got to do it a second time just to make sure that there was no contamination, something didn't go wrong. That has happened before. It's not likely, but it's very possible. And that's why, you know, you, you still have proof to get to before Kentucky can definitively say he's disqualified. So that's why it puts Maryland in a tough spot. Yeah. It doesn't feel right at this point, but they're going to have a big decision to make in the next 24 to 36 hours, probably. And what does all this mean for Bob Baffert? Uh, it will put into question the results if this is a positive test. Again, we don't know that for sure. But, you know, Bob is the human face of the sport. He's the most recognizable person with the sport. He told me out in California a couple of weeks ago, he knows there's a target on his back. He feels that others are jealous of his success. This would have been and might be still his 17th Triple Crown win. So he knows that he faces the spotlight. I think that's why he came out so vociferously defending what happened in the treatment of the horse before the race. Uh, This will certainly bring other folks who have not questioned Baffert before to question his methods. But for Baffert, he's going to have to prove innocence because there's too much evidence that keeps building up that rides a very gray area with Baffert and drug tests with horses, as you mentioned, over the last year. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.